Tomatoes, smell them, Martha. Give me, give me the smell, tomato smell, on myself. Because oh. there's nothing like a fresh tomato, is there? Yeah, yeah, there is. Can I smell it? Oh, it is. It, just, it smells of Daddy's garden. Tomatoes make me think of Daddy's wall garden, don't they? Oh, wall garden. Sorry, I absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it was always Daddy's, but actually, <laughs> do you know what, Mr. Strawbridge? Oh, we like we trained it, didn't we, this year? Together as a family, that's lovely. Yeah. This is what Daddy said on tour once. Daddy didn't want a chateau, only a wall garden. <laughs> Why did you, did you say that's that? That's true. You've got such a good memory, Arthur. I've forgotten that you said that. I have forgotten. Oh, don't worry, poor little chateau. I love you still. Right, how many tomatoes look like bottoms in here? I'd say that one does, doesn't it? That one. Look. <laughs> the butt crease. Oh, I'll stop. You ask me to do that. Uh, I will. Well, it's a way to engage a little boy in cooking. That looks like a, oh, oh that looks like a wrinkly person. Oh, dear. Another attacking one. Oh. Okay, that uh, one actually is pointy. Ow! Ow! There is such a lovely, lovely variety. Yes. Yeah, I like that, that some one. of them are really mutant because. Mm. Oh, wait, that looks like a bottom with a head on top. <laughs> a bottom with a head on top. <laughs> a butt head. <laughs> yes. Literally a butt head. I mean. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to uh, Chutney. Mrs. Strawbridge. Yes, darling. <laughs> talk, to me, talk to me about... Oh, they look really, really fabulous. What we're doing today? What we're doing is we're turning our... Um, that is a very large yield of red tomatoes um, from the greenhouse. We had a lot of red at one time. We're making a red tomato chutney. Okay. Red tomato chutney. <laughs> Makes sense? Good. And for that, we're, we're using all the things that are ready in the garden, which involves... Courgette. Pass me a courgette, son. Oh, I have to the whole of the Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Me and Dad are probably the biggest one ever. That's a very big courgette. Oh. Arthur, I'm going to go out. I'm just going to put the phone down and, and go and get oh. your glove so wait, you can... Right. I think it's in there. Yeah. Oh. Actually, very cheap. They yeah, were about 10... They were, they're about ten pounds, but come here. Oh, That's it, not cheap, Arthur, but it's very good value. Yeah, it's, it is very good value because it means that you can cut with daddy's knives and you won't cut your fingers no, off. No, no, no. What do you do with this hand? This hand's a claw, isn't it? Yeah. Bend it away, you hold it in there, and then what I want you to do... No, 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 I want to watch the size of these. I just want you to cut the ends off them. Like that. No. Finger in the hole. Hand like this. In fact, I'll give you a couple at a time. There's three of them. What I want you to do is watch. And the actual one I want you to do. See how you cut them? Mm -hmm. Now move your hands, move, move that hand back a little bit. Move that hand back a bit, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's good work, good holding, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, move your fingers back. We don't want to chop the ends. Oh, wait, that's four. That's okay, it's good. I was supposed to check to do three. Oh, look, look how many we've got to do. Oh, yeah. When you cut them into your little bits, I want them straight into that bowl. Okay, what's the chutney mean in another hour for guest time? It's made out of... Is it sour? Yes. Is it sweet? Yes. Okay. How do we get the sour and sweet in our chutney? They're going to give some sweetness to you, use part of the raisins over this morning, but, but actually, with the liquid in it, we're going to get a sour no, knife. You put your knife down, put it down over there, and lift those up and put them in the bowl. Put them in the bowl. Put those in the bowl, well done. Okay, so the sweetness comes from... Okay. 
A bit from the raisins. Oh, yeah, 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 a bit, a bit from the raisins. Oh, that, hold on, do it in two lots. Do that one first and then do this one next, okay? Now, what do you use if you want something sweet? Mm, sugar. Oh, guess what we use in chutney? Sugar. Right. Um, if you want to have something that's a bit sort of um, sharp, what can we use? What sort of things are just uh, Whoa. <laughs> you have to go to the dentist well after eating that. No, but acid, actually, there's acetic acid in vinegar. Really? You know, vinegar is quite sharp. It's smaller than meat. It makes it slightly smaller than meat, but it's slightly smaller than meat. That's a great job. Because, so, it's vinegar and sugar gives us this sort of the sweet and the sour element of it, okay? Okay? And so for us, that's what we use in our chutney. And this chutney is a chutney that comes straight from the garden, yep. but it's a tomato chutney, mm. which makes it a bit sweeter. Oh, I really like tomatoes. Yeah, I know. Uh, we've got quite a lot. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything else. It's really usable. You see, what we could be doing is we could be preserving by putting them in the freezer mm. and maybe just sort of um, even making them um, passata, which is like a tomato sauce, and putting that away. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a lot of chutney. Can we use a lot of chutney, don't we? What do you eat chutney with? Nice and a little bit of the end, a little bit of the end. Yeah, don't push too hard, you don't have to do nice sharp. Nice sharp and you can get some salt. Yeah, it said it was for children, but this isn't like for Jason. No, it's good. It's a good knife for children because you put your thumb, your your finger in there, and it is a good, it's a good one. It's meant for children because the fingers and the, the, it keeps it there to sort of protect your finger, you see. And the, and instead of have a little guard that comes with it, so you your finger. We use the gloves, don't we? Yeah. Right. For you, we've got um, all of these vegetables and things from the greenhouse. They're going together. Are we going to call it greenhouse chutney? No, it, is, it, is it a red tomato chutney? Because the star is the red tomato. The, um, the courgettes and the sultanas and things are all, um, mm -hmm. those are all just sort of adding things. So what we do as well, Arthur, which you didn't know, Okay, Grandma, well, Grandma's cooking and she makes things that are spicy. Yeah. What country does it tend to come from? Uh, yes. Can you come back? No. No, no, you know, she, she makes a spicy dish. Right. What country does it come from? India, I think. India. It's, it's in India. Well, it's India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and places like that. Wait, what, so, what, what we're going to do. Where do I take the courgette bits? Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do to give ours a little bit of spice. Dorothy, smell this and tell me what you smell. Mmm, yes, but smell. Oh, and heaven. Oh, no, oh, no, no. smell. Does it smell oh, of curry? No, it doesn't. It's, 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 it's a punch of paran. Oh, that's lovely. See, that's a punch of paran. It's the last bit I've got. Ooh. So this oh, actually, it, that actually smells of your chutney. Yeah. We've got the... Here, get empty them out, yeah? And you take the bubbles off them. Get them in there, get the bubbles off them. In, in this one, this clean water. Yeah. Get them in there, get the bubbles off them, turn them outside, empty, empty all the water out. That's good, that's good. Watch, empty the water out like this, and then pop it over there. Perfect. Wash, rinse, dry. Make sense? Work harder, work faster. Right, how are we doing? Chuck more. Chuck, okay. chuck I'll, be, I'll be your right. jar cleaning partner, baby. I feel like we're really, really into production now. Yeah. That is onto tomatoes. Arthur's getting through all the courgettes. Yes, not just courgettes, also squashes. Squashes, little squashes. Quite a bit there. No, but they're summer squashes, Arthur. How, how do you tell the difference between a summer squash and a winter squash? Uh, you slide your nail across you. The skin with your nail, that's my boy. You do, you and, know so um, much. When I did it to your humongous one in the compost, it was green. But is it soft or not? Yes. In that case, it was a summer squash. Was it a round one? No. What shape was it? It was like... It was fat and it was longer. Like yeah. a marrow? Yeah. In that case, it was probably a courgette that just got a bit big. No, it was wide. Was it? 
Yeah. How, how did it end up in there, by the way? How that, did, that's a mystery. How did what end up in there? The that the big um squash in there. Now I'm not gonna leave our Dodie out, yeah. our unsung hero, washing up and keeping Mom, the lids together. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not sung. <laughs> I said unsung heroes. People that do work in the background don't always get the credit. Mum, don't forget you have to wash all the lids unless they fall off. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Okay. I'm, I've on. got the hardest job because I, uh, mummy also, mummy got the longest job. Mm -hmm. I think I have to clean them. Mhm. Mm yeah. And also gonna these. Okay. I have got the slowest job on these. Yeah. Well, I'm, go I'm gonna get started. Do you want to give me a cut? What? Say cut cameras. Cut cameras. What are these? Cornishons we have. Oh, how do you like your cornishons? Pickled. Right, well this is a chutney, mm -hmm. okay? But chutneys and pickles use the same sort of thing, so what we're going to do is I'm going to... Show you this. This is a, a denchi with a bit of sweet pickle in it. Oops, Let me see. So what's in that pan there, Dick? This is vinegar and sugar. Oh, okay. Um, and um, what ratios? Um, it's half, it's half sugar to vinegar, but then you put the same amount of water in again as, oh, as, okay. as vinegar. As vinegar, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. so, so it's, um, for example, if it's, uh, if you put half a litre of vinegar, half a litre of water, and 250 mils of sugar. Right. Or you can make the same amount if you want to make a proper yeah. sweet one, but this is, this is just a little simple, yeah, this is a little simple, um, um, can you hear? Smell it, smell the, smell the vinegar. Mm, sniffy, whoa, whoa, vinegar <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, <that really> <laughs> well, what we're going to do with this, we're making a very quick pickle, and we're still we're going to use the vinegar again by just pouring it straight into the chutney. Oh, okay. And then you cover the. Did I make your eyes work No, it really. Up your nose. Then with your with your cornichons. Yeah. Grab the punch paran. Here we go. What's this? Punch paran. This one. Yep. Yeah, pop it over to me. Because anything we put in here, we're going to put straight into our big chutney anyway. You ready? So how much do we need to pop in here? Count them. One, two, three, four, twelve. That's plenty. Okay. Go and grab the cornichons. So, are we, are we pickling the cornichons? That's exactly what we're doing. Oh, oh, yeah. He's a clever boy. Don't drop any. Straight in there. Straight in there. Can I just drop it? Just drop, drop it and move your hand nice away nice quickly. Nice. No, 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 don't, don't. Don't move your hand away quickly, mother. Drop it gently in is what we do. It's a bit of a runaway now. Now that's going to be in there. And what we do with this, I'm just going to let it come back up to the boil for a second. This is ready. By the time we've actually got our chutney made, we'll be eating that. Okay. And we'll have it with something. Well, let's come up to the boil. Uh, I have one question. Wait, I mean, something for you to do for me. When we pickle pickles, remind me to never smell your vinegar. It's, it's quite, it's quite never again. That's surprisingly good, but that looks really great. Okay, and so we'll be so eating it in about an hour. Yeah. Yeah, what, okay. what, what I would normally do is I'd normally now turn that off. Mm-hmm. And when it's cold, it's ready to eat. Lovely. Bring it up to the boil. Great. Yeah. And you could... If we have more cornichons, you'd put more in no, there, wouldn't you? Hold on, yeah. we could actually do things. If we put some carrots in there, mm -hmm. this, this is this little, little <gasps> sweet pickle. Oh, no, we could put some carrot, we could put some yeah. fennel, we could do anything. That was, I'll do that for you. Ah, that's a different one to come off. Mm. I'll put that in as an experiment because we haven't used that one for a while. Oh. My dog, um, what do you want me to do now? Can you get me a stainless steel bowl, please? Out of the cupboard. This one? Yes, in there at the top. Give me one of those. Put it on this. Quite large, please. This, like that. Tip off Okay, so five, count me 500 raisins why, out, why, please. <laughs> why is it, why is it 15? I know how to make this quicker. Just get your thing and pour it. <laughs> oh, wait, you need this. Oh, but it's yeah. much more fun at counting out 500 raisins, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> that girl. 100, oh, 300. 300. How many hundred are we having? 16. 500. Need all of it. Four, we're over 400. 400. We're over 400. Uh, uh, stop. How many is that? 500 and... 400 and... 400. You have to take out three, right? No, you don't. 
<laughs> now, I, I think the daddies gave you a 500. <laughs> it's very important. Oh, look! We've done it! Right, making chutney. When you look at all the things you're going to put into your chutney, and what are you putting in ours? Courgettes, patty pan, and um, we're putting in tomatoes, and we're putting in dried fruit, yes? We put them in. What we do is we have more than twice as much dried fruit as we have gastrique, and a gastrique is a mixture of vinegar and sugar, and ours is twice the vinegar to sugar. So, to put that, that's the mathematics then. What we need to do is we need to make how much fruit we've got, and then we work out how much of the vinegar and sugar we're putting in with the spices. That makes sense? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just measuring things to see how much we've got and then I'm going to add all the rest of the stuff in. You don't really mind, do you? I don't Can you Excellent. You're too many. That's perfect. Okay, everybody mm -hmm. step away from the scales. What? That is exactly what we need. Now what I need to do is I put this on. No, I need to put this on like this. And I need to find out, it's a zero, and I need to find out how many of these we've got. Oh, it's quite heavy. What's it come up to? Wow! Two six. One and a half courgette, two six tomatoes. Comes to three, um, four. Four kilos. Okay, four kilos. Let's go. 